Welcome to C7 Revision. Part 1. The Chemical Industry and in Producing Chemicals. There are two types of chemicals produced in the chemical industry. Bulk chemicals, which are produced on a large scale and include ammonia, sulfuric acid, phosphoric acid and sodium hydroxide. And fine chemicals, which are produced on a small scale, which include drugs, food additives and fragrances. There are government regulations to protect the people and the environment. There are regulations on using chemicals, storage and transport. Chemical synthesis. There are five stages to chemical synthesis. Stage one is preparation of the feedstock. Raw materials are purified to make the reactants. Stage two is the synthesis itself. Chemical reaction between the reactants takes place and it has to be carefully controlled. Stage 3 separation of the products from the byproducts or waste products to some. Stage 4 handling of byproducts and waste. They have to be carefully disposed of. Stage 5 monitoring the purity of the products. Sustainability of processes. Sustainability of processes means to meet the needs of today without affecting the ability of future generations to meet their own needs. There are eight questions to ask when discussing sustainability of processes. 1. Are the raw materials renewable? 2. How good is the atom economy? Atom economy is how much of the reactants end up as useful products. Number 3. Is how waste products are used, disposed of. 4. The energy costs of the process. 5. Will it damage the environment? 6. Health and safety risks. 7. Benefits or risks to society. And 8. Is it profitable? The next topics are energy transfer, catalysts, reversible reactions and the harbour process. Energy transfer. In reactions, old bonds are broken and new ones are formed. Energy is supplied to break bonds. That's endothermic. Energy is released when new bonds form, which is exothermic. Bond energy calculations are used to calculate overall energy change in a reaction. The overall energy change is the energy required to break bonds minus the energy released by forming bonds. Catalysts The activation energy is the minimum energy required to break bonds and for a reaction to start. Catalysts are substances that change the speed of a reaction without being used up in the reaction. They lower the overall activation energy needed to make the reaction happen by providing alternative routes but the overall energy change remains the same. Reversible reaction. A reversible reaction is where the products of a reaction can themselves react to produce the original reactants. Dynamic equilibrium. Reversible reactions can reach this in a closed loop system. It means reactions take place in both directions, but the overall effect is nil as they balance each other out. Reactions take place at the same rate in both directions. This is the symbol for reversible reactions. The Harbour process. The Harbour process is a reversible reaction. Compromises must be made on temperature and pressure. The pressure is 200, the temperature is 450 degrees Celsius and the catalyst is iron. The unused hydrogen and nitrogen is recycled. The high pressure favours the forward exothermic reaction, so pressure is as high as possible to give the best yield, whilst keeping factory costs down in the reaction safe. The yield of ammonia is highest with lower temperatures, but this means a slow rate of reaction, so a compromise is made between maximum yield and the speed of reaction.